Hi Pisces, welcome to this reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Um, you might find it resonates more though if Pisces is your Moon or Rising Sign. We have the Magician, so feeling empowered potentially. We've got Gemini energy there. We have the Five of Wands, Nine of Pentacles and Judgment reverse for some reason it feels really significant that this card says the last judgment i wonder if the divine feminine is making some kind of ultimate choice or decision what's very interesting is we have next to the magician well in between the powerful magician and the very confident self-contained self-assured self-reliant nine of pentacles we have the five of wands which is the influence usually interference of other people so um let's see what's going on there What's going on, please, for the Divine Feminine at this time? Yeah, Three of Wands, wow. Okay, so the Divine Feminine is manifesting something, whether it's directly in relation to this connection or not. And I would say if they're not already seeing huge amounts of success, um, or even, you know, like small, continual, continuous bits of encouragement, that's coming in soon. Yeah, look, though, see, with the Five of Wands, we've got the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So there is some sort of an issue or interference that's causing some kind of delay or sticking point. Could be, of course, a third party on whichever side, but um, I don't see that stopping the feminine. Okay, let's keep going. Definitely it's on their mind. Um, we have the Lovers reversed, more Gemini energy here. We have Scorpio here with the Judgment card making yeah i feel the feminine has made or is working up to making a decision about something oh with the three of coins reversed i wonder if you know i'm feeling two things so let me say what i'm feeling and then as we go and get more nuance we'll see kind of where we're leaning but two groups the first group of feminines is like right three of coins reversed this has taken long enough there's external influence i'm doing very well in my life apart from this connection or this situation i'm incredibly happy um, and I'm feeling like I'm having success with things. My masculine is doing their own thing. Fine, I respect that. For now, I'm making the firm and final decision to close this out. Um, and unless something changes, I'm moving on with my life. I'm moving forward, um, at least in a, a physical 3D sense. Um, the other group of feminines are saying we're not on the best terms right now or there's some kind of a disconnect and I'm making the decision to manifest a reconnection to manifest a way forward even with external influence you know I, i'm not going to let this bother me i am the magician the five of wands is is basically minimal compared to the um you know the potential the power that i have within myself so i'm not going to let that be a focus a focus <laughs> a focal point or a focus anymore um so let's see let's go through What else, please, for the Divine Feminine? Um, Capricorn could be a significant energy. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands reversed. I feel the Feminine is not playing anymore. Whatever the Feminine has been wanting in their life, again, connected to this connection or otherwise, they're now grounded. They're now being serious about. They're taking themselves seriously. And it could be something they were putting off, maybe. Um... But they're like, why wait? I'm going to do it now. Exactly. The hanged man, in, hanged man in reverse. I'm going to go for it. I'm doing it now. Um, making plans in a big way. We have Pisces energy here. Queen of Cups reverse. So this five of wands, it could be... There could be one significant person, one significant energy. They could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But what I'm seeing is this is someone who's either emotionally... Um, well, they're, they, they're coming across as emotionally imbalanced or unstable in one way or another, whether it's because they use emotions to manipulate, they are super dependent, or they're volatile with their emotions. Um, okay, let me just see, hold on. The High Priestess, more Pisces. I don't trust this person whoever this is do you know what this is reminding me of i used to have a neighbor she was very short um and sort of like short and petite and she really used that to her advantage she was an adult um uh but what she, you know that's fine i have nothing against short petite people men women whatever but my thing here is that she used it to her advantage because i watched you know i, I saw these interactions happen neighbors around that sort of thing people almost babied her because she seemed so small and 
I guess they assumed fragile or something but instead of her getting annoyed with that and trying to be like I'm an adult don't you know patronize me or whatever you're doing she she made it work for her because she wasn't that nice of a person but on the outside she would be all oh you know I'm so sweet I'm so innocent I would never because I'm so short you know short tall whatever you know um but she was manipulative basically she she realized what would work for her um and she used it to her advantage there's that's what I'm getting here someone who's using something to their advantage um, and on the outside they might seem helpless in some way because they know that's how they're viewed typically and it gets them places um and I'm not talking this person doesn't have to be short or whatever um There's just something here where this person is playing on, I need help, I'm not capable. Whereas if you step back and thought about it for a second, of course they're capable, this person has a house, they have a job, you know, they keep their life going or whatever it is. But there's someone who is manipulative and with the high priestess, I don't trust their intentions. Um, and also I just want to put a disclaimer, I'm not saying if you're short, people think you're helpless, you know? It's just, it was specifically about my neighbor and the kind of image she cultivated and the energy she was giving off, you know, the whole, she was doing the whole thing um, intentionally. Okay, so. Four of Swords reverse. Yeah, this person's up to something. They know what they're doing, but they're not trying to give themselves away. Four of Swords reversed. It's like, I'm just sitting here, I'm doing nothing. No, they're up to something. They've got some kind of a plan. I'll come back to them. Let's keep going. Nine of Pentacles, the Lovers reversed. Wow. Page of Swords reversed, Ace of Wands reversed, and the uh, Princess of Wands, so the Page of Wands upright i think you know if i say you i know most of my viewers are the divine feminine but i shouldn't presume the divine feminine knows that this person here whoever this queen of cups is representing whether they're a woman or a man um they're up to something they're not to be trusted and i think the feminine is fed up of having some kind of mysterious unplaceable energy working against them um even if even if the feminine has known it's this person it's like not ever actually knowing exactly what they're up to but knowing they're running interference somehow it's almost like the feminine is taking things into their own hands i don't know what that means i guess it could look different for everyone see ten of pentacles reversed it could be someone in their own life in their own family it could be someone in the family of the divine masculine And it doesn't have to be action in the 3D that the feminine is taking with the magician and the three of wands. It could be intention setting, asking their guides or the divine to intervene, um, doing some sort of like energy work, you know, protection or something like that. Because um, another thing, I know, like who cares about my neighbor, right? But honestly, <laughs> the reason I'm saying this is because it feels so relevant. The other thing about the way she presented herself um is that it she was slippery like it was hard to catch her um trying to think how to word this as in okay if i challenged something um or if someone saw the both of us standing outside having an argument which you know didn't happen but let's say it did I people would assume I was at fault I was to blame because I towered over her because you know it's just that thing of like she's smaller you're bullying her no I'm just making a point or trying to be reasonable she is actually the one who's an ass <laughs> you know but it's like if I try to challenge that I would look aggressive if I do you know like whatever happened whatever the situation was it would have looked like I was in the wrong and I kind of feel that's that's the thing here whatever's going on with this person is quite insidious it's under the under the radar and if the feminine was to say something directly to this person they would play the fool if the feminine was to try and say something to anyone else involved other people might look sideways at the feminine and think that person really no you know maybe she just calm down or, or whatever um there's a feeling of injustice around this in some way and the feminine is like you know what if no one in the 3d is going to listen or understand or see i'm going to go to a higher power i'm going to communicate connect here with something or someone who can intervene um you know we might be talking about karma or something like that um 
And if you're the feminine watching this and you haven't done this yet and you're dealing with someone difficult, I would say forget the 3D, forget, you know, especially if you've done all you can, connect with your guides, your ancestors, um, guardian angels, whatever it is, ask them to intervene here. You might have the best success there. Um, or, you know, by doing that. Okay, Judgment and the Three of Coins reversed. Let's see, we have the King of Cups reversed. So it's probably someone then... Um, on the Divine Masculine side. It could even be their karmic or a spouse, just whoever they are very closely connected with. And it's a very imbalanced, unhealthy emotional dynamic. Um, there could have been love or affection or romance between these two once, potentially, but definitely not anymore. And it's interesting, in these reversed positions, we've got the King of Cups looking this way to the right, and then we've got the Queen of Cups looking at the King. So... This, whoever this person is, they're sneaky, um, they're playing up on something, some way in which they're perceived or some kind of reputation they've built for themselves. They know how to make it work for them. It's completely inauthentic. Um, and anyone who tries to challenge that has a hard time being believed. Um, and there's something around them chasing after or holding on to this divine masculine. Um, Okay, that, that really didn't necessarily go where I thought it would, but let's let's have a look and see. So for the feminine, what else please? Okay, that's too many. Divine timing. Wow, okay, the number three. Time is an illusion of perception. Trust in divine timing and that it has a plan for you. You are going to be okay no matter what. Okay, so there could be a message here around if there's a frustration, do I need to make this huge decision right now? The answer is no, but do keep being powerful. Do keep making moves. Um, also for the divine feminine, I do, especially with this number three, I do think something around whatever they're manifesting, whatever move, movement they're trying to have or whatever waves they're creating, get the get your spiritual divine team involved here. Um, and especially around this, this energy, this Queen of Cups energy, um, you know, you will come out on top. Um, you know, you will, karma will balance out. And it, I don't think it will balance out in the sense of coming from the 3D. I think spirit will intervene um and karma will will come through for this person um but i i think if the feminine is trying to convince anyone of anything or whatever in the 3d probably just drop that you know um it's just going to be like bashing your head against a brick wall right so let's see what's going on for the masculine and let's put this back in case it wants to come out again Okay, what is going on for the masculine at this time? Two of Swords, Reversed, Wheel of Fortune, which does make me think of Divine Timing. We've got Sagittarius energy there. So Two of Swords, Reversed, it's almost like the masculine is waking up to this fact of timing or the fact that the wheel has turned. We've got the number 10, completion, something has completed, going in the direction of a new opportunity, something that's much more emotionally fulfilling with the Four of Cups reversed, Five of Swords, but it's creating conflict, arguments, we have the six of wands. So the masculine could also have been going through a bit of like an ego death or realizing something about their ego. Um, and no, I mean, ego death is slightly misleading. We we all have egos and I suppose it's our perception that changes and, and our egos evolve and all of that. So the transition regarding their ego, yeah, strength reversed, which can be the ego sometimes. So realizing that they were prideful in the past, perhaps, um, I'm hearing being willing to move forward in whichever way. So if they were putting their foot down and saying, I'm not moving forward in this situation unless this or until that, now it's got to the point where they're saying, I'm just willing to move forward. Okay, King of Pentacles. Some of them are trying to move forward before they are practically ready in the, you know, in the physical 3D realm. So they have an attachment to something or someone else. Maybe there's even a contract involved and they're trying to move forward 
before they've perhaps dealt with this or resolved this or they're trying to get out of this now and that's what's causing arguments see look knight of swords five of swords tell us more about that please we have the chariot reversed cancer and we have the eight of cups wanting to walk away so right now it's like the masculine is going through some transition or some kind of ending and trying to extract themselves from it but feeling like it's slightly confusing um the masculine is trying to get into alignment with their highest path they're trying to follow the star hmm There's someone here they're arguing with, but this person isn't showing themselves. Not yet, anyway, which does make me think it's the person the Divine Feminine is aware of, that Queen of Cups. Um, okay, what else? Look at that, the Devil. So there's some Capricorn energy that I mentioned earlier, but really, I think this is talking about this other person, whoever this is in their life. It doesn't even have to be like a romantic karmic or anything like that, but this person, honestly, the word insidious, I know that's quite a strong word, but that's that's how it feels, I and mean, we've got the devil coming out. Whoever this is in the masculine's life doesn't want, doesn't want to let them go. Okay, King of Pentacles, what can you tell me about the King of Pentacles, please? Page of Pentacles reverse. So it could be uh, this masculine is a parent and that's a big concern in terms of getting out of, of a current situation to move towards the feminine. Um, and it could even be, you know, this whole insidious, I'm playing up on something energy. Maybe this other person, say they're the, the, the parent, other parent of this child, um, they could be playing up on like, you can't just leave us here, you know, blah, 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 break up the family, break up the home. Um, and saying all these things that they don't, that's not actually their concern. They might be concerned with how they look or just wanting to keep control over the situation, you know, but saying like, we won't manage without you. There's just something that, um, something isn't right here some someone's presenting something and it's a lie the truth is is underneath the surface and they're not revealing it okay the other way i can look at this is no children are involved but your person your masculine if you're the feminine um or if you are the masculine you know it could be that the masculine here is presenting the image of being the king of pentacles but actually they might feel like this um, page of pentacles reversed inside so feeling like their inner child is being crushed maybe their inner child never really got a chance to blossom um so seeming very composed and confident but actually not feeling it at all and the situation they're in is challenging them to listen to their inner child and integrate it you know now we're talking about the ego and the psyche and that sort of stuff integrate it and heal and find their strength and move forward um I get the feeling that whoever this person is, this other third person here, they know how to manipulate the Divine Masculine, um, they know where the insecurities are, and that's what they're playing on. I've also noticed this Five of Cups, I, now at this point I cannot even remember, as I'm going through the reading and channeling, if I've, if I pointed this out before, but I am noticing that it where I saw it, it was on its side. And that's exactly it. The masculine is, is trying to get out of this energy, this five of cups into reversed. You know, I'm looking at the two cups behind me. I'm taking this opportunity with the feminine. I'm not being morose or giving up or apathetic anymore, but I've got some kind of a struggle here. Okay, two of swords with the six of wands. Let's have a look, a bit more of a look at this realization. Page of wands reversed, okay the world yeah thinking about missed opportunities but there's an interesting flip that's happened in this dynamic i think in the past the emphasis might have been on the masculine to take action and they didn't in this connection um but now the feminine is seeming very um proactive at this time while the masculine is almost going within and doing this inner work and reflecting so if we think of masculine energy as being like doing energy that's coming through a lot um for the feminine whereas for the masculine here we're seeing almost this feminine energy of simply being working on self going within trying to heal because that's what's going to help them to integrate all the different parts of themselves right now that seem to have 
you know, they're presenting themselves as being separate parts and to move forward because we've got the part they're identifying with as their external self, you know, image, ego, all of that. Then we've got this internal reality of hold on, but I actually feel like this page. And they're consciously, two of swords reversed, asking themselves now, how do I blend these? How do I combine these? Um, okay, look, three of swords on the back. A ten of pentacles and I did just see the queen of pentacles coming out there's some sort of oh, some 3d situation nine of cups um that the masculine is in and it's there are roots like really deep widespread roots here and they've got to sort of like dig up everything so that they can move away from this and it might be good in a financial sense but I do not think they are happy. Page of Swords reversed. Meanwhile, I'm clarifying here the um, Wheel of Fortune. What I think the masculine wants to move into is um, the complete, the complete experience and package, which is the stability, the um, emotional fulfillment, the, the you know the wishes coming in, and with the Page of Swords reversed, a situation that continually offers the potential for expansion. You know, it's not just okay, we're here, we're doing this, that's it. We'll, we'll never grow, we'll never evolve, we'll never explore in any other way, we'll keep moving forward. Because I think right now they feel very limited, very constrained. Um, and I know this reading sounds a lot like I'm just pointing out this page of cups and going, it's their fault, sorry, not page of cups, queen of cups. But what's coming through strongly is this difficult dynamic that this masculine seems to be in with whoever this Queen of Cups is. And what we could say, if we're being high vibrational, is this Queen of Cups came into alignment with your masculine in order to highlight this disconnect between you know, their inner self and the image they're presenting, to encourage the masculine to learn that lesson you know, and, and to move forward. So... There is that, but in a very 3D sense, yes, right now I think the masculine is in some kind of very restrictive entanglement that they are actively trying to get themselves out of. Um, the feminine, I think, is 100% aware of this and is, is doing work on their end, but working with energy here, manifestation, intention, all of that. Um, again, if you're the feminine and you've been trying to get people to listen to you and you're finding that they're half paying attention or they're not really, they don't understand the full intensity or severity of the situation, I would say just leave it, you know, um, they might be being taken in by whatever display this Queen of Cups is putting out there. Um, turn to, you know, as I said, you know, energy power that's much stronger than anyone in the 3d anyway you know and, and find your help there because there's something very imbalanced about this situation so i do feel if you're inviting your guides in your angels in all of that they will want to you know reset the balance here on your behalf um okay so let's get one of these cards here one of these oracle messages for the masculine You cannot make this up. Union of self, exactly. The king of pentacles with that page of pentacles reversed. It's the number 41, which together would add to a five, which we know is incredibly difficult, turbulent energy, but very positively, it's the number signifying big change. So that's, you know, the masculine is going through change. Okay, self-love is vital on the journey. Balancing your inner masculine and feminine energies is painful and beautiful at the same time. Surrendering to spirit can ease the pain. Exactly. As I said, there's been a sort of flip flop here. The masculine feels like they're really in this feminine energy and it's very necessary. Um, but I also feel this could be a message for the feminine as well. You know, surrender to spirit. We've got that message we had about divine timing for the feminine. Also surrender to spirit to help um, the feminine move through whatever this complication is for the masculine. It's about surrendering to spirit in the sense of they want to go, go, go. 
But before they can do that, they've got to go through this period of integration and trusting that that's where they're meant to be right now. That's what they're supposed to be doing. One final message I'm getting is that the masculine is feeling kind of um, vulnerable right now and low on energy. So if the feminine feels inclined to send you know supportive healing energy during any meditations or anything that could be a really nice thing to do for the masculine to pick up on but you know no one needs to do anything no one should be doing anything that comes at their own expense so you know having a full cup before you send energy out is definitely important okay so i'm gonna leave this here thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon bye